Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Common English Mistakes, Don't Just Learn, Improve. So today I've got one more video looking at prepositions, this time with the verbs sit, lie and stand, where it does get a bit confusing. But we're going to look at the common errors people make and how you can be much more accurate with your language. So anyway, the mistake people make is up here. I like to sit in the sofa and watch TV. So just pause the video, try to correct the sentence. And well done. If you said that like in a previous video, uh, you're on the surface of the sofa, so you need on. I like to sit on the sofa and watch TV. So that's nice and easy. Uh, we always say on the sofa. Sit on the sofa, lie on the sofa, and it's the same for other things like bench, sit on a bench, the grass, lie on the grass, the beach, the ground, etc. However, sometimes it's a little more complicated. For example, with the word chair. Going back to a couple of videos ago, uh, on for the surface, in for when you are enclosed or surrounded by something, which of these chairs do you think you would sit in and which would you sit on? And well done. If you said the first one is flat, so you're talking about the surface, you sit on a chair like this. Whereas the second one, with arms, it surrounds you, you're going to sit in this chair. And it's the same idea for a seat. On a bus or a train, these are more flat, so you might say, I was lucky and found a seat to sit on, whereas in a car, you sit in a seat. However, uh, there are two reasons where we might use in a bit more. For example, in a car, you talk about sitting in the front seat or in the back seat. And I would say this is more because we just say in the front, in the back. For example, at the cinema, you can sit in the front row, in the middle row, in the back row. Also, on trains and buses, often you have a seat number. So you might say to someone, excuse me, you're sitting in my seat or in my place. For these reasons, I would just keep it simple and always use the preposition in with seat. I don't think it would ever be wrong. And a couple of others you might want to know. Uh, the children sat in a circle. We just say in a circle. And the bird sat on a branch because it's the surface, but in a tree because the tree surrounds the bird. And then there's one more, which is that you can sit at a desk, meaning you are facing or pointing in the direction of the desk. For example, my cat likes to sit at the window, facing at the window, looking outside. And we can also use this with stand. I knocked on the door and stood at the door, facing the door. In a cafe, you can stand at the counter. Which brings us on to the different ways we can use at, on, and in with the verb stand. For example, we've been standing in this queue or this line for two hours. We say in a line, in a queue. I stood at the bus stop and waited for the bus. Going back to previous videos, we're using at for the general place. Uh, I stood on the platform and waited for the train. Here we're going to use on because it's the surface of the platform. And then my foot got wet because I stood in a puddle. The puddle surrounded my foot. But then, oh no, I've stood on a snail. On, onto the surface. And the final one in your house that gets a bit confusing is with bed. This guy here is lying on the bed. Uh, the other woman, she is lying in bed. So just pause the video and think what do we mean by these two sentences. 
And well done. If you said on the bed, means you're on the surface, usually on the covers. And you could also use this with sit. I sat on the bed. Whereas in bed basically means you've got the covers, you're warm, and this is usually the one we use. What I would do with these is learn them as phrases, especially with the articles, because they don't change. Lie in bed, lie on the bed. Make sure you know them automatically. Anyway, explanation over. As ever, if you find the video useful, learning something, do make sure to hit that subscribe button for more common mistakes videos in the future. Other than that, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put the appropriate preposition into these gaps. And well done. If you said the dog was sitting at the front door, uh, I like to lie on the couch after a hard day at work. But then I like to lie in the bath and relax my muscles in because the bath is surrounding you. And then I gave up my seat on the bus so an old man could sit in it, on it. Both are okay there. When I was a child, I used to lie in bed until 11 a.m. And then, oh, gross, I've stood in some dog poo. So now just pause the video and write, say, or discuss the same sentences for you. And finally, today's question. Uh, how often do you eat at the dinner table, on the sofa, or in bed? Write your answers in the comments, guys. They're good to practice those three prepositions. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, I'm going to take a break from prepositions because I've done quite a few recently, but it is an area that needs practice. So do make sure to check out the other videos. It will really help you. Other than that, I'll see you in another video in the next couple of days. So until then, See ya.